Hi guys, in this video I show you how to resolve the certificate errors that you get when using a FortiGate on your network. So if you're watching this video, you probably know by now that FortiGate are firewall devices. So one of the main features of firewalls is to block unwanted traffic from going in and out of your network. So basically, any traffic that comes from the internet needs to pass through your firewall device before it's allowed access to your internal network, and vice versa. A minor issue when using the setup with a FortiGate is that websites use something called a certificate. A website certificate is basically used for your web browser, for example, Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Edge, to be able to determine whether or not the website is who it says it is. So in other words, in the background, the web browser, once it receives that request from the website, it can determine if the website is who it says it is based on its certificate. However, when using a FortiGate, the FortiGate intercepts the website certificate and it actually generates its own certificate and presents it to your web browser. Because your web browser is not familiar with FortiGate as being a trusted certificate, it would give you an error message. This error is easily corrected. All we will need to do is import the FortiGate certificate into your web browser. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So my FortiGate's web filter is set to currently block social media. So I shouldn't be able to access websites like Facebook, Twitter, etc. So let me give it a try. Let me try searching for facebook.com and see what results I get. So let's click on the facebook.com site. And here we can see the site is blocked. Yes, however, we are getting an error message. We're getting that Fortinet wasn't installed properly on the computer. If we click on top here now, we would see that it's telling you that it doesn't recognize the certificate, it's not a trusted certificate. So this is where the issue lies. So yes, the web filter is working, however, it's not giving us the appropriate error. So for instance, if an end user were to see this, they would know that Facebook.com is not allowed. They would think that, you know, something is not configured properly. So that's what we want to fix. We want to fix this certificate error that we are getting and have it display a legitimate message such as this. This would alert the user that here's what, this website is against the internet usage policy. That's the reason why it's blocked. Not because um, Fortinet wasn't configured properly, etc. So to do that, we're going to head over to our FortiGates dashboard. And in the left hand page, I'm going to head over to system. And click on certificates. Here we'll see a list of certificates. We want to click on the top certificate that says Fortinet CE SSL. So we want to download the certificate. This is the certificate that needs to be installed on the computer's internet browser. To do that simply, click on the certificate and click download on the top bar. Once downloaded, copy it to the computer that it needs to be installed on. On the said computer, open Internet Explorer, click on the gear wheel icon on the top right hand corner. Next, click on clear SSL state and then click on certificates. We now want to click on the tab that says trusted root certification authorities. So here's where we'll actually need to import the FortiGates certificate. We can do this by clicking on the import button. Select next and here we could browse for the certificate. It's located on the desktop, so here it is. I'm going to select it, select open, select next. I'm going to select next and finish. It would ask us if we are sure we want to install a certificate. Go ahead and click yes. It says it was successful, the import. 
Now if we look at our certificate list, here we'll see that the certificate was successfully imported. Click OK. So now let's try searching for Facebook again. So remember, it should be blocked. However, we shouldn't get the certificate error that we were getting before. And there, as we could see, the certificate issue has been solved. So as I said, it would be blocked because it's against our web policy to allow Facebook. But we are seeing the genuine Fortinet um, block page and not the certificate error that we are getting. To confirm this, if we click on this, here we could see that the certificate is trusted by the browser because we had previously imported the certificate. So guys, one of the main advantages I said from an end user perspective and having the original FortiGuard page shown is that it lets the clients know that they are doing something which is against the internet policies, whereas the certificate error that was shown before just tells them that something is not configured properly, which could have them confused and in turn lead to more calls to the help desk. So guys, this technique is perfect if you just have a handful of computers that you need to install certificates on. But what about if you're in large organizations where there are dozens and hundreds and even thousands of computers that need to have certificates installed on? Well, in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually install this certificate using Windows Group Policy. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released. Thanks again for viewing. See you soon.